right, y'all, I'm back at it today, and uh, check it out. Here's some little wildlife for you. Here's a little horned toad sitting there. He's trying to warm up. It's a little chilly this morning. He's just hanging out. Look at look how he's perfectly camouflaged. And again, we rock hounds look down when we're going, so we won't step on them. So that was pretty cool. Check out this moss I just found, this little moss chip. That's pretty cool. It's got really pretty colors. Nice, nice little chip. See the outside. See the side. Anyway, that was a good little start to the day. Nice little chip. And a little wildlife, too, to start it off. So having fun already. All right. And this next one's another chip. Check it out. This is a little bit bigger one. Got a little moss chip. Got some nice colors. See the back of it. See the side of it. Again, it's another pretty one. And my hands all dirty <laughs> from the sand out there. But anyway, this is a pretty chip. Nice piece. All right, I'm on chips today. Somebody must have been chipping something big up around here, and I'm finding all the little small pieces of whatever they tr uh, did that was big. So anyway, pretty chips, though. Pretty patterns in there. Nice moss again. Y'all know I love the moss agates. It's my favorite rock. Check it out. Sweet. Those make some nice tumblers. All right. Let's see what else we got. Here we go. That's another moss chip. Look at the look at the pattern. This one. This one's got a really cool kind of interesting pattern. A little different pattern there. Almost like dendrites on this side. It's always interesting the variety of the moss and how different it can be from one rock to the next, and, and the varieties can be un unbelievably, you know, different in a variety. Hey, there's the wind. You can see why I'm doing a voiceover. So this is a moss chip or, or big chip or a bigger piece. I don't know if you call this a chip or not, but it's got the rind on the other side. See, it's got the rind in there, so that rind has to be removed. Once once you remove some of that rind, there you go. You get a little view of the moss that's under there. You can see on this side a little bit better. You got a couple of clear spots, but once you smooth that over, you, you're going to develop. You'll see the moss pattern really develop and, and come out. Because um, a lot of times when you find it, the moss pattern isn't always exposed. Um, here's one. The top part of this one's moss. The bottom's got a little moss. It's pretty tightly packed though. Again, it's that sunset orange with going into a little bit of yellow. Again, a nice little chip. I was on the chips today for some reason. I don't know why. We found a lot of chips, so obviously people have been here before, right? You know, the area's been hunted for a long time. Um, here's a nice little, another piece of moss. So you can see this one's got a little bit of that blue, that like blue-gray agate in there. Again, when that cleans up, that's going to be a nice piece when that's all cleaned up. Pretty nice find. Again, you can see it's highly silicated too, which is which is really nice. Because uh, not all the moss you find out there is highly silicated. Some of it is lacking in silica, and it it'll undercut terribly or just you know make pits all in it. So here's one. It's almost a flame. It's almost a flame like moss pattern. It's kind of there at the top there. Again, but it's still a neat piece. Again, you can see somebody chipped this off a rock. So, again, this is another chip that somebody would have chipped off a big rock. Probably 40, 50 years ago, that chip's been laying out there. Anyway, it would have been neat to see the big, a big giant rock of this, you know. Uh, I only found a few big pieces. You don't find a lot of giant pieces, but you find some nice stuff. I mean, I found some really nice stuff. Oh, this one's pretty cool. So this one, you can see it's got a thin layer of, I don't know if you want to call it agate, chalcedony, whatever, but you see it's got little petroidal ones in there. See the little yellow, orange petroidals in there? And you see how thin it is, and you can see it just formed in the seam on this on this rock, so obviously the top part of the seam eroded away or, or broke off or whatever, and the bottom piece is left, but it's kind of, I just thought it was kind of neat because it's kind of something you don't see a lot of, but you see all the little, little bots, all the little tiny bots all over the place in there. So here's like a purpley one. 
back's almost rhyolite, so you can see it's got a layer of like purpley agate on here or chalcedony. Again, it just depends if it has bands. If it has bands, it's agate. If it doesn't, it's chalcedony. It's the same mineral compositions, you know. Oh, here's a cool piece of jasper. So this one's got, you can see how it fades into that, those, those colors just fade into each other, right? So you got like that reddish, yellow, orange, you know, and you got a little tiny, little tiny bit of chalcedony on the other side in there mixed in. Not a lot. See, it got a little bit right by my thumb. You'll see some. Pretty cool piece. Again, that's a, that's a neat one. So it turned out to be a pretty decent day, except for the wind on this particular trip. Here's another piece. So this one's, you know, it's not quite moss. It's kind of like, I don't know, dotted looking. Um, I have to clean this one up, see what really, and, and cut it, and figure out which way to cut it, you know, and, and see what see what's in the inside of there. Definitely has a big fracture going down it. You can see how that, you know, the volcanic ash is right in the middle there. Um, that's not clay, that's actually volcanic ash, so some people might call it clay. This whole rock is little tiny petrodles. You can see all the little little bots on the top of it. It does have moss on the side. There's some white bots, too. Check that out, huh? Isn't that cool? It's like chicken pock rock. <laughs> and then here's your moss. You can see the moss pattern on the side. Check it out. So you see all the bots in the, in the top. You know, sometimes those the bots make they make bot lines. You know, when you when you if you polish into them, they'll make moss patterns. You know, and look here, I just found another one just sitting there on the ground. We'll pick that one up. Let's get a little squirty. There you go. That's a beautiful moss piece, man. If that was a big rock, that would be so cool. I mean, it's really cool right now, but can you imagine a bigger rock like that? That's so cool. And this is why I hunt out there. I like the moss. This is an interesting one because it's it's like a orangey, smoky kind of agate, chalcedony, whatever. Um, don't find a lot of colors like that out there, um, but you can see it's like a smoky color. So it's pretty cool. So it caught my attention because of the color. Um, a little different than what you find out there. You don't really find a lot of this this kind of color material. Anyway, I thought that was pretty neat to show you. All right, here y'all know, if y'all been watching my channel, y'all know I'm hunting for the green. So this one's actually, this one's translucent, so, and it's got some green in it. So I'm telling you, I don't know where the heck all this green's coming from, but I, I'm going to find a big piece of the green eventually. <laughs> you know, it's got to be out there. I keep finding small pieces all over, you know, and I'm trying to triangulate where it's coming from and try to see if I can find the source or find more of a concentration. And, uh, and no luck so far. But I'll, if it's there, I'll find it eventually. I'll, I'll figure it out. So this one's cool. So you can see it's got like, that. that's like a little line, like a tube right there uh, with the jasper, red jasper in the middle. And you got all that chalcedony on the top. It's kind of a neat little, little weirdo piece, you know. Um, and again, it's got some weird patterns on the side, some interesting colors, you know, all trapped up in the, in the chalcedony. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I found some bigger pieces like that, and if you've watched my videos, you've seen some bigger pieces, but again, it's a little cool piece, so again, when you find stuff like this, you know you're in the right area where they're going to have, if they're going to have that bigger material or that material, it's going to be in the area when you start finding all this kind of stuff, so you know you're in the right spot, right, if you're finding that kind of material. Um, it's just how big the material is and, you know, how picked over it is, because again, this isn't a secret spot, this, this spot's been hunted for probably 50 plus years, maybe even longer, because the railroad went in probably in the early 1900s. Because um, again, you'll find stuff out there, relics and stuff, which you can't take, you have to leave it. So, um, you know, I've, I've found a beer bottle that was from a Prohibition era, uh, right before Prohibition had closed. Uh, it was actually out of Chicago, and the, the bottle was like, I think it was a 1909, maybe? Anyway, I looked it up. It was pretty cool, but again, I left it out there. It's out there. I buried it a little bit so nobody can find it. Here's a cool one. Check it out. It's got um, 
It's like a, what you'd find when you find a fire agate, you know, and it looked like it had a little fire right there on the top close to my finger, like a little orange fire. But um, again, when I got it home and took a really good look at it, I, I couldn't see the fire. So um, I think it's just because it was translucent. This one's got a purple. This one's got like purple bots and it's got it's got like, a, you know, purple seam on it. So, again, I always like to find purple stuff. Uh, the purple stuff fascinates me for some reason. I just like the green. I don't know why. So, all right, that's going to do it for this one. So, again, thanks y'all for watching, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the videos, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Keep on rocking, everybody.